CataractCoach.com, small pupil fake without a ring. How would you approach this tough case here? Let's watch together. Now, the video was sent in. I think I know who the surgeon is. It wasn't sent in anonymously, but it was sent in with just the, some random name of the video recording system. But that makes it very challenging for me. So, you know, we get 30 to 50 videos sent in a week. And I download all of them. I watch all of them, at least click through them. But if you don't label them like we request, it makes it so much more challenging for me. And so, as you know, if you go to the cataractcoach.com website, you want to submit your video? Go to cataractcoach.com. There's a link that says, Doctor, submit your video here. There are very specific instructions, including how to name your file so that I can give you credit. But if you don't put a name on your file, it's by default you're going to be anonymous like we see here. And um, here we go, viscoelastic going inside the eye. A little bit of viscomadriasis there. Maybe put in some pharmacologic agents. Now, that's a reasonable pupil. That's probably four and a half-ish millimeters, and that's probably enough to get the case done. I agree there. Certainly here's fixating the eye with a chopper or second instrument, getting a rexus done. And remember, make a generous rexus at least as big as the pupil margin. That's pretty good. Let's set up the camera here. I'd, I'd make it a little bigger, but that's good. Very, very nice. Nicely done here. And now let's see some hydrodissection. And then here we go, another hydrodissection here. And then let's see, what about the spin? If it does not spin, you will not win. Well, we'll find out. Now, this is obviously an advanced surgeon. Let me tell you about our cataractcoach.com podcast. Every week, a brand new podcast. You will learn so much, I promise. You got to check it out. It's everywhere where you find podcast services. And I think it's something that you will truly benefit from. Now, here we go, rotating the nucleus. The double chopper technique there, I kind of know who this is now. I've seen that before in Cataract Coach. Look at that blind placement, forgive the pun there, of the chopper, getting a nice horizontal chop done there. Now more viscoelastic, pupils coming down, now the pupils mad at you. You know, if you want, you can just put an iris ring in. You can put an iris hooks. Here come the double choppers again. This is tough to place. I mean, you're using kind of Jedi mind tricks to place these, but I think that works. And now we could bring a piece up. Are you still going to operate in the small hole? I prefer to get a big rexus, partially prolapse the nucleus out of the papsar bag, have the nucleus held by the pupil, by the iris. It helps to really just emulsify the whole thing. Now, the certain here is beautiful job. Obviously, very talented. Yes, we've sped the video up so we can get through it because you know how short the attention spans of people are these days. Now, bringing the nuclear pieces up through the pupil. Remember, blue-eyed patient, do not buzz the iris. If you nail that iris... It's going to be painfully obvious for this patient when they look in the mirror or when uh, people look at the patient across the room. At, let's say even conversation distance from, from a few feet or a meter away, it will look strange. So I like this technique here, using the chopper in the other hand to lift up the iris. Again, in a case like this, the path of least grief is probably just to put in the iris hooks or the pupil expansion ring. Yes, I'm sure you can get it done like this and you feel great and that's fantastic, but you know... You know you. You do your skill level. I like this technique of holding up the iris to to get a good view so you can see the cortex, get all that cleaned up. And then remember, you don't want to leave any lens cortex in the bag. We get all the lens material out. So that's a pretty good cleanup there. Maybe under that trigger, there's another piece. And what are we going to do? I, still, I thought I saw another piece back there. Maybe we'll get it in after the viscoelastic. Here's the viscoelastic. Oh, boy, big bubbles. A lot of bubbles. Now... Wow, look at the placement of the lens, no visualization. Through the bubbles you go. Jedi mind trick. You know where the, the pupil is, I guess. You know where the bubbles are. You know where the lens is. Now it's on the top of the iris. Now getting it dialed in there. I just hope it's totally in the capsule bag. I hope we're going to look here. Now removing the bubbles here with the eye probe and the viscoelastics coming out too. Can we lift up that iris a little bit? Hey, I, please lift it up. I want to see. I want to see. Look at that. Fantastic. You're a very skilled surgeon. Beautiful case. You did a fantastic job. For any younger ophthalmologists out there, do not feel compelled to suffer through a small pupil case. It's okay. I give you permission. Put in the pupil expansion ring. Put in the hooks. Do what it takes to make your life less stressful. Remember, you just have to have a beautiful outcome. If you can do it this way, great. But if not, you want to put a ring in, that's perfectly fine. I like it too. In a case like this, I would have done things a little bit differently, but that's how the beauty cataract coach, we all learn together. And remember, you better check out that podcast. Truly, it's the secret to your future success.